Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to Eden My Garden. Today I'm going to show you the whole garden. We are in, in the month of July and everything is growing really fast and everything is blooming. So I'm going to give you a little walk around and show you. First, let's look at courgette zucchini and it's like a jungle here. It's really beautiful, it's growing really fast. Yesterday I did a good tidying up and just cut any you know, leaves that's drying up, that's underneath blocking every the vegetables and I want the camera to come here and look at this because it's been raining so much, haven't had time to harvest. Look at this big one. We can make zucchini bread with this massive that's a baby one i love when they are young it's nice and tender and here look at those those winter wow this yellow one here little pumpkin and here oh look at this one this is the crooked neck i believe and this is the yeah the courgette oh look at this one here those are those pretty tender. They are beautiful in stir fry. So I've got a big harvest which I need to do. Oh, let's move over there. Ooh, look at this one. So what I did, I did a good clear out. You could see over big leaves and if that's covering the fruit I've just chopped them out make sure there's plenty of air so bugs doesn't go in and um, create infections in, in the vegetables and one more thing I did I cover my pumpkin with this because there's a lot of bugs and everywhere what I do I just cover it and it, it stay nice and tidy there's no bugs and as you could see it's very healthy and that's all I did and I just water and the harvest is plentiful. Next stop is potatoes. As you can see, I've got quite a lot here of potatoes and they're not quite ready, they're baby potatoes, but I just want to leave them a bit longer. Maybe by beginning of, uh, uh, sorry, beginning of uh, August, it should be ready. Okay, maybe I will just try to pull one and see what's underneath so I'm just going to oh look at this wow not too bad not too bad whoa you see I want those baby potatoes to get bigger so that's why I want to leave it a bit longer so let me just put this one back in so I for, to know the potatoes already, these leaves will go quite yellow and droopy. So it's not quite there yet. So I'm going to leave it. At least I've got two lovely potatoes here. Oh, lovely. Look at this. But I want them to get bigger. Cucumbers. I have to say this year my cucumbers are not doing really well. As you could see on the leaves there, it's turning a bit yellow and there's bugs. I mean, I've got a bit of harvest, there's one there. And I put new baby one here because the old one died. So I'm using um, Bt. It's an organic uh, pesticide that I spray on it just to keep the bugs away. So just keeping an eye to see what happened, I'm sure. And there has been lots of rain as well. So that's not very good for cucumber and the, the roots get rotten and they just go bad. But that's my cucumbers. I've got two. Wow. <laughs> Guys, this is, I'm so excited about this baby here. This is another type of cucumber. The only one I've got on my little plant here, but I'm so excited. And it come, I seeded them back in February, March. I mean, the plant doesn't look that healthy, but the cucumber here is looking pretty good. So I'm hopeful that will grow to a mighty, beautiful lemon cucumber. And it's nice and sweet and crunchy. Watch this piece about my cucumber. It's not done, it's not over until it's over, okay? Be patient with your vegetables because sometimes you plant 
and it grows beautifully like my courgette and then sometimes your plant doesn't go well. Patient is a virtue and that's one of the fruit of the spirit in the Bible. Be patient in all things with people, with animals, but with plants too because you know they need tender loving care. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But don't fret, you can try again. That is the best thing, try again. Okay, if you fail in life, it's not over because you know every day is a brand new day the Bible say his mercy is new every morning you wake up it's a brand new day like today I don't fret about my cucumber I know it's going to bounce back and become beautiful beautiful okay onions guys I mean it look at the rain what did the rain did to my onions it's like looking lifeless but it's working it's growing and look at this one here you see it's coming out it's coming out really lovely so I'm going to leave it maybe a week or two this one came out you see they're doing well I'm very happy with my onions very very happy a couple of weeks I'm going to harvest them and I've got another patch there so by the time I harvest them, I have a lot. And these, I just bought them from the garden center. They were tiny baby little onions. All I did and just planted them back in, I will say April when the weather was nice and warm. And um, here we go. So I will have a lot of harvest, so easy to grow. You can just grow in pots, put on your windowsill, on your balcony. And, and I love red onions, they just, that smell, and when you cook, it's just so beautiful, it's better than white onions. I've got one here, my first harvest of onions, guys. It's not that big, but I love it, it's my onions. Yeah, this is my carrots, guys, and uh, it's like a little forest here. And uh, I don't think it's quite ready yet because I want them to grow a bit bigger, but we could check. So I planted those carrots, I would say beginning of March. I seeded them. All I did, dig a hole, very thin hole, and just throw the seed. And look at it now. And I make sure I cover. You could see my little covering here because I, we have a lot of animals. The deer came, I have to be honest, the deer ate a lot of it and I cover it and it's doing not too bad. I just want to pull one and show you. Um, it's pretty small, but let's just see. Oh, let's see this one. Oh, look at this one. Oh, this cute baby. You see, it's, it's not ready yet, but this is nice. You can do stir fry with those oh there's another one here oh this is cute little ball here yeah so they're not quite there i will give them a few weeks and they should be ready so very easy so you can actually seed carrots right now for for autumn for the fall so you can have another harvest so i'm going i've got a, some you know room here so i'm going to seed them so ready for the fall so it's never too late to plant carrots guys get some seed and just sow them and just water them a bit of love hopefully you will have a harvest for the fall chilies i think chilies is one of my favorite plant it's quite hard to to seed because chili like hot uh, weather and i have to say i keep i seeded in february in march and april because you know they, they keep dying on me because the temperature was a bit cool but you know after the third time i have to say i've got quite a few plants maybe about 15 to 20 plants of chilies here and everywhere and i want to show you yes let me show you the jalapeno look how big they are and i believe they will get bigger and they are very very hot and usually i um, freeze them in the freezer or I pickle them yeah those one are the finger chilies they're quite spicy as well they're thin and long and they can turn red as well they're quite hot so I love them so I've got a good 20 plants all around so which is not too bad and while I'm here I've got all my tomato plants I've got quite a lot I've got here I've got in pots scattered everywhere because I love tomatoes I can and I put them in the freezer and you can use all winter 
So here, I haven't had any harvest yet, but it's getting there, you could see. There's quite a few here. I believe this one is the beef steak tomato. They become really, really big, nice and juicy and red. So I've got all over here, and I will show you over there. I've got in pots as well. Okay, and they're all from my seeds, guys. I seeded back in February, and uh, I didn't have to buy any seed, and it's so cheap to buy seed and just do them. Just need patience to pot them, to take them out, water. So yeah, that's a pretty good harvest. I'm so pleased with that. Those are cherry tomatoes, and look here, one is ready. I'm going to pick that up. Let's try them. Mmm beautiful it's so fresh so clean so organic no pesticide nothing guys tomato is the most grown in all the countries people plant tomatoes if you go in every garden in America there's a plant of tomato and that is true that is very true garlic this is my first time planting garlic and I planted them back in I would say September October Leave them over winter, snow, rain, cold, and the garlic, I believe, is ready for harvest. And it doesn't look appetizing when you look at it, look all crinkly, all down, but because, yeah, that's how it should look like, uh, ready to harvest. I just want to pick one to see how big they are, just out of curiosity, but because I wanted to leave it a bit longer. Okay, I've got one here. Let's see. Ooh! That seems a really big one. Let's see. Oh la la! Look at this! This is so good! Guys, I am so pleased with this. This is my first garlic, my first harvest, and it's big. Oh, imagine all of them. Oh, I'm so pleased. Guys, it's so easy. All I did went to the garden center buy little garlic bulbs right and you open it one by one and you plant it in october september october and i put some um, mulch on top of it i just left it and voila voila i'm so excited i love garlic oh garlic butter fish if you haven't seen my program the fish and the garlic and the butter what's cooking watch it it's delicious delicious Oh, look at this, Alex. <laughs> look at this. Oh man, I'm, I'm happy with myself. Beetroots, the American call it beets. I'm going to say beetroots because I'm from England. Only joking. Okay, this is my baby's seedling as well, guys. I seeded them back in um, in winter, and I could see one here growing. I want to take it out. Let's see. Oh, look at this baby one. This is cute. Oh, they, I love them. You can roast them when they're small and tender like that. All you do, you clean them, chop them in half, garlic, a bit of butter, oven. Bob's your uncle. You've done, and it's delicious and crunchy. So. Some are ready, some are not, but I'm just going to leave them a little bit longer because I want them to be a bit bigger. Okay. Next stop, guys, this is green pepper. And I have to say I cheated. I didn't seed them because, to be honest, I don't really know. It didn't work with me. My green fingers didn't work with the green peppers. So I bought the plants and it's okay to buy the plants. If you don't know how to seed, go to the garden center buy the plants and guys and i didn't have enough spot here to plant them so i put them in pots and look at them they are getting bigger day by day i want you to show you this one look at this look at this beautiful pepper here amazing and i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen peppers just planting in pots guys not difficult to, pl to plant so easy one plant probably you will get about five just for one family easy peasy okay guys i've got lots of herbs herbs is one of the most important ingredients in cooking in your kitchen 
what I do, I plant a lot of herbs and I dry them. I use them the whole, whole for the whole year. Okay, here I've got parsley. Here I have oregano. Here I have thyme. And over there I've got mint. Lots of them. Guys, I always wanted to run in a cornfield, you know, playing hide and seek. Can you imagine as a child? And I'm trying to do that now as an adult. How beautiful it is. You can't hide and seek though, it's very little. But this is corn. This is my first, uh, sorry, my second time I've planted corn. Last time it was just very small amount, four plants. But this time I'm going to grow bigger because they're really beautiful and sweet. And I didn't uh, plant them from seed and I bought them. They were really cheap. I went to the garden. They were like two dollars for six plants so i bought them and they are doing really really well if i can show you here look you see the corn is about to come out and there's more here so i'm going to get quite a lot i think i got about 20 plants here maybe even more so i'm going to get a lot of corn especially for barbecues in the summer and they are really it's called sweet corn why because it's sweet and that is the sweetest one I bought so I'm, I'm so excited about that so next year I might do maybe more because it's working so I'm trying to hide and see guys but here we go it's difficult here <laughs> here I've got cool rabbi I've got the purple one and the green one doing really well I have to say here if you could see here the purple one I'm going to leave it a bit more just to get a bit bigger and here i've got the green one so beautiful and i've been keeping an eye on them because of bugs you see i put the hay why because there's a lot of um, snails and slugs so this prevent them from getting to my plants and it's helping a lot so i've got quite a few here and i'm so happy with them i used to cover them but now i've leave them so they are doing good yeah and i planted them from seed back in um, February, March, transplant them and cool rabbi love cold weather. So here it's a lot of shade and that's why I've put them here. Guys, I left the best till the last. This is one of my favorite. Why it's my favorite? Because it's so hard to plant because it, it is a difficult one. Brassica, it's very they love cool weather and they attract a lot of bugs and snails and they get eaten they don't grow well but i'm quite excited to see what's underneath here so let's open up and see okay oh la la oh la la i have to say i haven't had any luck with um, cabbages last year and very little amount because the bugs ate them all the snail ate them all here I've got cabbages, I've got green cabbages, I've got red cabbages, I've got um, Brussels sprouts and let's lift this one here, let's see. Oh, oh la la, this is my Brussels sprouts here. Wow, I'm so pleased, I am so pleased because Brussels sprouts, it is hard to grow. So okay, the secret are I put hay at the bottom and I make sure it's well covered. You can see I've got my white cloth and I order them from Amazon and they are very long. You can order measurement, very long and whatever space you need, you can cut them. And uh, thirdly, you have to check them every week. Open up, make sure it's well watered. And what I did as well, I've put, uh, it's called BT. It's a um, it's an organic pesticide which I put every two weeks. I've mixed them with water, just water them in case there is any bugs that lay eggs, especially the white butterflies that lay eggs. But I just want to get a close up to my cabbage. If we can go there, I I'm pleased, I'm really pleased. Look at this beauty. If we get a closer look, it's forming inside and there's no bugs and there is nothing. Oh, I just pray and hope. I will have a lot of cabbages and you could see here it started to eat this one so I'm going to spray them and I put I give them a good fertilizer as well I give them a fish fertilizer it's the best 
once a month or once every two weeks when you remember give them a good fertilizer so that will do the job make sure it's well covered and um, and the the brussels sprouts i want to, i want to get a bit close up a bit close up here i want to show you look you could see the brussels sprite look at those little baby heads coming out here i don't know if you could see but this is the brussels sprout that will be ready i would say by october november so excited so so excited so i'm so pleased i have to say i planted more than that but they got eaten but those ones look like they are thriving they're doing really well so to end this by looking at this beautiful garden i hope you loved it you appreciate it and if you have pictures of your garden if you have any hint for me you know how to do better please send me a message thank you for watching god bless you and until next time we'll see you soon bye bye